Hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. I am continuing down my 2017 Barbie fashion model collection road. Last week, I reviewed the black and white tweed suit Barbie doll. Thank you guys for all the fun comments on that video. That was so fun to debox because I just thought she was diorific in every way. Today, we are looking at blush and gold cocktail dress Barbie doll. Many of you guys have been asking if I'm going to be reviewing her and obviously, yes. She's the second doll in the the 2017 BFMC collection. She debuted on the 8th of May, which was almost a month ago now, and she has been sitting here at my place um, for a little while now, and she's ready to be opened and explored. Gold happens to be one of my absolute favorite medals. <laughs> I've seen a few photos that you guys have put up of her. As per usual, I got mine way later than you guys did. But that seems to be like the common trend, right? So it is what it is, I guess. Ooh, why does this box feel heavier than the last one? Hmm. Here she is, a blush and gold cocktail dress. The same rose motif box carried on from last year. I do miss them varying from year to year. Um, they would, you know, either vary the, the border color or something about it would be a little bit different. So I have to say, I feel like the 2017 Silkstone collection um, of the three dolls that I've seen so far um, has kind of gone back to its roots as being a very um, high fashion haute couture type of doll. Do you know what I mean? I feel like the 2016 collection, last year's collection, was met with a lot of resistance from a lot of collectors. Um, I was okay with it. I didn't love the Chic City suit doll. Um, I also thought that the Camel Coat doll, as beautiful as she was, just didn't really fit in with the Silkstone theme that I feel like we've all gotten used to. So when I saw pictures of the Blush and Gold doll, a um, bunch of you guys had tagged me in it, I was just gaga for it because she was just frothy and frilly and gold and pink and sparkly and all the beautiful couture details that um, I think we all love so much. Without further ado, let's get her out and see what she's all about. Here we go, here is the box right here. Um, the ribbon is fresh and new, ready for me to be opened. Ha 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 ha, <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, I can see her little shoes peeking through. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, here we go, here we go. One, two, and three. <gasps> oh, wow, oh my God. Oh. Ah, she's so pretty. <gasps> you guys, she is stunning. I mean, the very first thing I have to say is she is not as pink as her promotional photos are online. This is a much more beautiful, very, very muted blush, I would say. Um, it's a very, very soft blush. Oh my God, look at all these fun layers. It looks like a rose petal indeed. <laughs> Oh, that face and the hair. Why is there a black hair in it? Ooh. Look at this skirt just like popping out. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Here is blush and gold cocktail dress up close and personal. You guys, she is just so cute. Love her makeup. Hair is beautiful. And this embroidery work. Oh my God. Um, I really don't know if this color is going to translate on film to what it is in real life. I feel like I'm looking at it on the camera right now and it looks a little more pink on, uh, on the camera than it does in real life. But anyway, I'm telling you, it is the most beautiful, beautiful shade of like gorgeous blush petal soft mauve ever. Here is the back of the box. She is a gold labeled doll. There's a beautiful little story about her and she is limited to 10,000 pieces worldwide. You guys, I have to say, she is just stunning. In person, she really is much more sophisticated looking. And I think it really might come down to the fact that this color is so much more beautiful in real life and so much more sophisticated in real life. Like the last doll, her certificate of authenticity is taped to the back. Standard silkstone packaging. She's typed down with cream color ribbons. Here is her certificate of authenticity. Blush and gold cocktail dress Barbie doll. Behind the certificate of authenticity is um, the little care instructions guide. Here is her doll stand in the back. It is a standard black 
silkstone base um, and she does have the clear saddle stand here in the corner here she comes yes 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 hey girl hey in that way so there we go so satisfying can't even tell you she does have a hairnet over her face and hair um, everything is hair netted in place um, now I will need to take that out so let's all collectively say a prayer and hold our breath here. oh there we go hair is very pretty it is lightly gelled back here the curls are set into place this ensemble reminds me a lot of tribute Barbie um, who we saw recently she has lots and lots of layers of taffeta organza um, and do we see any to yes and tool oh my gosh it's like the exact same type of makeup the back is a little bit weird and like the two panels are, are just kind of flaring out looks like she's like on fire <laughs> I may need to press that down gently. She does have a beautiful little manicure. It looks a little bit darker than her lip color. I love the boat neck silhouette. The fabrics feel very much like um, Tribute Barbies, I will say. It feels exactly like that. A lot of these uh, petals and panels are pinched into place with clear thread, like right here it's pinched, um, right here it's pinched. So I think I will need to eventually take that out and um, it, then it will probably look more like this back here. This really does remind me of a rose. It's taken me a little while to kind of figure out the makeup of how this um, ensemble will sit, but um, I do think she's very pretty and I'm uh, appreciating all of her details. She does not have any earrings or a bracelet or any type of jewelry, um, sort of which she had. I think that would have been a nice touch. However, I can see how this in itself could be quite contemporary because she does also have her little gold purse. And I feel like, you know, holding that, um, if she were to have jewelry, it might be like overkill. This blouse feels very much like a sari. So it comes off quite easily, actually. Ta-da! Hello, lovely. I do wish that they had put something in the back. Uh, I'm disappointed in that. I think it goes back to, um, you know, if no one's looking at it, why bother? And I know y'all are keeping her in the box. So um, this is what we get, you know, unfinished backs. It almost reminds me of like a little head of lettuce or something. <laughs> Beautiful face, truly. And do you see all the colors in the makeup here? Gorgeous. There's a beautiful deep purple um, buried into her crease there. A little bit of mauve around that and some gold liner around her eyes love the eyebrows nice and full her hair is a gorgeous bright blonde very similar to um, camel coat last year who we saw I feel like with her hair down she would look very similar to camel coat here is the um, unsightly elastic that is holding her ponytail together uh, a detail that I feel like could have very easily been avoided if they had just wrapped a little hair around it. I don't know. I love her lip color. I think it's so pretty. It's the most beautiful shade of like blush rose pink. Love that. And here's her body. She does have the articulated silk tone body. And then she has beautiful beige tone pantyhose with the line that goes down the back here. Points of articulation. There's the knee. There's the thigh like that. There is the elbow, just like so. And there is the wrist, just like that. And then the shoulder, just like so. And then she also does move underneath the bust. So that helps her pose. Um, and then she does move side to side. Here are her gorgeous little shoes. They are a beautiful blush pink um, with a soft mauve touch to them. I love, love, love. They have the Model Muse slit in the back. They're the exact same shoe that we saw on Chic City Suit from last year that came in all the blue. Um, they are a beautiful ankle strap stiletto pump. There is her pedicure just like so. Same exact color as her little manicure right there. Here is her gorgeous little dress, you guys. Definitely needs a good press. I think all these layers um, could use a little bit of um, maneuvering and manipulating the craftsmanship 
is quite lovely. The gold micro paillettes, I'm absolutely loving. So pretty. And the beautiful little silver paillettes are also quite darling. I'm not entirely sure what the pattern is of, but it does appear to be sort of a repeating scroll. Um, I love the gold thread work. Again, it's the same thread work that we saw on Tribute Doll. It's the same thread work we saw on Luciana. Just take a look at that detail, you guys. It really is so nice. And you can see that the sleeves are actually set in separately. So that is quite commendable. These little details are not that easy to do. I know it seems like they are, but they do take time and they do take precision. There are three small snaps here that keep the dress closed and then here on the inside you can see the beautiful taffeta bodice underneath um, you can see all the darts folded in and sewn you can see where it is um, attached to the skirt portion of the dress i do wish that they had lined this um, i feel like that would have been a nice touch only because um, something about this just doesn't look as neat as some of the other silk stones that i've seen does all the same, I can look at this and appreciate all the work that's gone into it. The neckline here on the inside bodice is finished off. They even put little stabilizer strips here on the organza shell. The uh, connecting point between the bodice and the skirt that could definitely be a little bit cleaner. Here is what I'm talking about it just being so kind of haphazardy in the back. As beautiful as this is, I mean, I think a good press would help alleviate some of this kind of craziness back here. This panel here would have laid down so much nicer if they would have just put a mock French seam here, um, which would have made the seam just kind of lay down nicely and not like do this weird thing that it's doing, you know? So underneath all of that, there is the um, underskirt that is really adorable. It's much more fitted to her than the other layers are. It's one layer of this pretty polyester taffeta right there and that's finished off quite nicely um, there's her little barbie collector tag on the inside and over that there's a layer of organza i love that it is trimmed in this beautiful horse hair looking detail that's really nice it gives it some stability and some structure all the folds and beautiful tears fall on top here is her beautiful little gold clutch it's so cute um, it looks very much like something Ariel would be carrying. Like, does it not look like a shell, right? Um, I like it because it's a new silhouette that I have not yet seen in the purses and clutches. Um, it looks like it really wants to open, but... Um, ooh, it does! Oh, cute! <gasps> Love that! Oh, look at that! We can hide her little lipstick in here and close it shut. Adorable. So there we have it, you guys. This is the gorgeous blush and gold cocktail dress Barbie doll. She is the second release for the 2017 Barbie Fashion Model Collection. I can't really put my finger on who exactly this type of a dress um, reminds me of. There are definitely throwbacks to old world couture in the embroidery work. Um, I do love that very much. It has a very Baroque edge to it. I think that's gorgeous. But in terms of the silhouette of this dress, I feel like it could be something like out of the Marquesa collection today. I feel like it could be something out of a Vera Wang collection. Um, I feel like it could even be an Oscar de la Renta collection. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. That way you guys will be notified every Thursday when I upload a new video. As always, thank you guys so much for the love. Find me on Instagram. I'm at SureshNY. That's generally where I post all my updates. Until I see you guys again, Barbie and I are going to go uptown to the Pier Hotel right by Central Park South. We have a gorgeous cocktail party to attend and we are very excited about it. Aren't we, Barbie? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses from me and Barbie here in New York. Mwah. And I'll see you guys again soon, okay? Bye.